Hi Dan, victory here today against Bolmere, 5 0 into the final. What's your take of the game? Yeah, I thought it was a, it was a game of two halves. Um, we spoke at half time about potentially just needing it to be uh, nil nil. Um, the wind was horrific, <laughs> and that was having a real impact on the way the girls were playing. But listen, I think second half we, we showed our quality. I thought the girls were absolutely outstanding. Some absolutely brilliant goals, um, and yeah, deserved victory in the end. And obviously the conditions out there was bad. How hard was it to manage the conditions today? Yeah, as, as I said, it was just, we just needed it to be nil-nil at half-time. We, we knew eventually that the quality would come through. Um, it's hard when, when you come in to, to play a team that you know, they just sat in and being really hard to break down. And, and credit to them, you know, they, they stayed in the game as long as they could. But as we, we've said time and time again, eventually a little bit of quality will, will find a way. And you know, thankfully Amber did that. And, and once we got one, we always knew there'd be a, a few more to follow. And obviously Amber Hughes got a hat trick today. What was your take on her performance? Yeah, she's she, listen, she's excellent. She, she's um, first half of the season. I don't think she was happy with her goal return. Um, I think she's quite open about that. So she said, you know, I'm, I'm going to knuckle down now and, and I want to grab a few more goals for myself. And she started fantastically uh, since January. You know, another three to add to her tally today. Um, so I'm delighted for Amber. And obviously now um, you've got place West Bromwich Albion in the final. Um, are you looking to that, you know, a black country derby? Surely the girls are going to be up for that one? Yeah, of course you will. I think you've seen last time out we, uh, against Albion, it was, a, it was a, exciting. It's a black country derby, it's not a run. You know, but listen, it'll be a totally different kettle of fish. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a final, they'll be up for it massively. Uh, there's a trophy at stake and I think three and a half years into my reign here, I think this group deserve a trophy, but uh, no one's going to give it to them. So we've really got to knuckle down whenever that, whenever that date is and, and make sure we're ready for it. Well, it's a massive victory here today, but now you've got to pick yourselves back up, go again next week for another crucial game, in back in the league action, away at Nottingham Forest. What are you going to do to prepare for that, Dan? Well, we'll just get back in the training this week. As I said, Forest, listen, a very, very good side. Uh, and we've seen what happens when, you, uh, when you're not on it in the FA Cup. You know, we, we were... We were trying to think how to describe it we were passed off the park last time out and the girls are looking forward to, to putting that right so we'll, we'll, we'll put a strategy together this week and we'll look forward to taking that to Forest Thank you Dan and all the best for Forest Thanks mate